Robert Hoof, welcome to Leicester's The Place podcast with myself and Matthew. Absolute pleasure to have you here. Uh, hopefully we're going to have an enjoyable few minutes, 45 minutes to an hour, maybe asking you some non-serious questions about your football career. Uh, how how are you feeling about being here? Today? Yeah, that's no, good. Thanks, good. Thanks for having me. And yeah, non-serious question sounds, sounds good. Yeah? Absolutely. So <laughs> I'm going to kick us off. Yeah this afternoon and the first question which I am really intrigued about is where you were born and where you were brought up uh, and what was that like being brought up bearing in mind I was brought up in a, a town called Belfast during the 70s and 80s which was pretty you know uh, it was an experience to say the least so I'm really intrigued to, to hear about where you were born and where you were brought up in Germany yeah I mean obviously knowing what I know about Belfast I guess it'd be pretty pretty similar to Berlin in terms of, you know, the quite rough, tough, uh, dark, dodgy, uh, rough mm -hmm. place, you know, as, you know, um, as Belfast is in Berlin, it was no different, especially sort of the, the, the time I was born, you know, um, 84, uh, a few years after the, the war went down and sort of, well, it just wasn't a very nice place. Um, as a child, you obviously just sort of uh, grow up with it. It's just, is what it is, isn't it? You don't think of it as good or bad. You just sort of go through with it and, um, but yeah, looking back, it was um, certainly different to to the West German side or West Berlin side. Were you there when the wall came down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course, it was. You, did you have a hammer and <sighs> you were banging away, uh, you know, picking the bricks? Yeah, no. I mean, I was only I was only five, so um, yeah. even if I tried, but uh, my memory is a bit blurred of that uh, sort of day or event, even because I was only five, and I remember just going down. Cause we used to live in a high rise, so we used to go down. Um, everyone was on the, on the street celebrating. Um, you know, the freedom for us really for the East Germans. So, um, but no, uh, I didn't. You didn't. So, did, no. Did you see the Hoff perform? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Did you? Did you actually? Were you there when the Hoff got on the stage and and performed that that song when when the wall was coming down? I'll be looking for freedom. That song. That's the yes. One. Yeah. No, I know the words to it. I'm not yeah. going to sing it, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I watched it back. Obviously, you know, probably hundreds of times, but uh, you know. Funny looking back at it now, but obviously yeah. uh, something that got in popularity in Germany for some strange reason. Uh, how the hell did the Hofmeister <laughs> end up getting himself there? I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. I haven't it, to be been honest. so serious at the time, though, Matt. It, 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 it is a bit comical watching it back now, isn't it? I can, it is I can show you after the podcast. Yeah, we'll have a look at that. It. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I don't remember it strangely. It's easy to yeah. remember the words. <laughs> Just while we're on that subject, sort of uh, being born in East Germany, is, uh, how did you find it those years later on? going into the German national squad, was there any sort of ongoing divide maybe between the different sets of players, even though it's sort of amalgamated as one nation? Yeah, certainly, maybe not so, uh, maybe not in a sort of senior years, but certainly in a youth level, there certainly was, because yeah. obviously West Germany was so big in terms of, compared to East Berlin, we only had about a tiny bit really. Yeah. And the clubs were, were numbers as well. So it was very much, if there was an East German player in the squad, was like you know like a fist pump when you meet up you know like we in it together sort of thing it's right sort of, you know you, you you knew where they were from oh you um, stuck with each other you mean yeah it's yeah, yeah. Um, like a click yeah well not a click there, there wasn't that many but it was you know like it was only really two or three in my time that sort of right. come through a youth team from from the east um and it was that, that that weird sort of connection that you have when you're from a certain place you know like like here if you're from leicester you always for some reason you always get on don't you yeah um in and terms any, any resentment from the west german yeah i mean players? it's still to this day there's there's a, a divide really you know yeah not not in terms of you know your west your east it's sort of yeah. a bit more sly in in the way it is but certainly my sort of early years in national team there was only a few players from from the east you know balak was one yeah uh, course, myself yeah. uh maybe one or two others so it wasn't like uh lots of players coming through um but obviously since then it's sort of Diluted a little bit, you know. Yeah. It's all Germany, you know, but testing times, isn't it? About character building, they Char say. Yeah, character building, and then people um, still identify themselves as East, right? So all my family are East. They wouldn't say they're Germans. They're East Germans. Really, and to an extent, I'm sort of the last sort of generation of of that sort of. Yeah. You know, if you think about, it, I was five, um, so yeah, probably I'm the last one to sort of yeah. say I'm East without having gone through the, all of the hardship like the previous generation yeah, yeah. has. Who were your heroes growing up then in the... Well, there wasn't any. We weren't really, you know, it was, you know, the TV was restricted. We didn't really get to see any West German TV or anything. We didn't hear any foreign music till 
uh, 89. Wow. Um, you know, you, you two and half. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got the half, <laughs> and then we turned it off and never listened to it again. That was it. That's all you needed to hear was a half on the wall. That is it. Was That's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Um, but yes, yeah, so it was that very, severe, that harsh. Yeah, yeah, it was just German music, all sort of you know, it was state controlled. So it's um, it wasn't. We just didn't get exposure. You know, we mm. just watched German TV, East German TV, and there was we didn't really know there was a whole side yeah. outside of it. So. Sorry, yeah. Robert. In 1990, would yeah. you have been able to watch the World Cup? Yeah. In Italia 90. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that was my biggest sort of my earliest memory of 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 football was probably that. Um, of course, Germany Cup. won that World Cup. If memory serves me correctly. Yeah. I believe you're it right, too. Although, fullback. although it was still called West Germany at the time. So oh, even though it was, we were united, but it was yeah. still still called West Germany. But yeah. Um, so from that time then, did you have who were your heroes in in the, in the West German, or did you did you then start supporting Germany when it was amalgamated? Or yeah, I mean, my identity was obviously East, but yeah. in terms of as I mean, I was six by then. You yeah. know, like you just go with life, don't you? You know, you don't think about the big, politics or anything like that. You just Great. go, oh, this is right. And football, to be honest, wasn't that big a part of my early life. I, I, right. I did my, many other sports. East, you know, I went to the East German sports program, so I got to do rowing, uh, athletics, judo. So that. I wasn't just specific to football like it is now, you know, now you've got academies under eights and, and so on. So football sort of came to my life fairly late compared to nowadays. So I just got to to Union Berlin and uh, sort of they weren't professional at all. It was a, uh, I think it would be in with English terms, League Two, maybe non-league back yeah. in the day. So it wasn't wasn't anything as, as big as it is today. Um, so it wasn't like a, a step up from from a local team to like a big, a big academy. Team it, wasn't, a big, yeah. it wasn't, it was just a, a different club in East, so a bigger East German club. And yeah, I went to the sports school with them. Um, like I said, I had to do all my, uh, you know, five days a week sports, five days a week training it was sort of. It was quite an intense program. Yeah, yeah it was, yeah, like it's, that, yeah. yes. Um, Great well, Yeah, I mean. As a kid, you if you're right every day. If that's what you're looking doing, for, yeah. Well, you could know, put doing it as, all different sports. <laughs> put it this way, you couldn't put, the kids through it now because there is obviously yeah. safeguarding in place but it was very yeah. uh, opinion wasn't asked for it was like why well, we start school at seven um you know it wasn't yeah uh, it was authoritative i think that's the best way of, 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 of sort of describing the time there you know you, you do that you do this you do that you do that it wasn't sort of yeah, free, freedom form freedom of yeah. mind wasn't encouraged at all it's sort yeah. of you do that and it's sort of but it's, it's slowly flashing out in german sort of society in terms of that sort of we we say you do, you know, yeah. Well, the pros and cons in for sure in any structure, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. You know, whichever way. But I mean, you mentioned there about coming into football at any yeah. sort of decent level, r relatively late. Yeah. But you were relatively young when you made your way over to Chelsea. Yeah. So you, you caught up pretty quickly. Yeah. I think it's safe to say, isn't it? But was it seventeen? You made your debut. At, yes. at Chelsea, yeah. yeah you remember so that far back, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Eagles and all that, yeah. Claudio Ranieri, ironically you enough, know, yeah. was the manager that signed you yeah. at Chelsea. I didn't realise that until I was doing a bit of research on you today. But how did that all transpire and come about? Well, we went. Uh, you obviously, you got picked uh, for the. I used to be, the, uh, you know, the the, the schoolboys sort of international fixes. You yeah. Know, England. Yeah. We used to play England all the time, so they would come to. Berlin, we would go to, to England and each year would sort of alternate. And uh, one week we had an, uh, a tournament in Ireland where we had three or four games with Ireland and a couple of other teams. And a few scouts as they as they were, they, they just come to watch and just sort of tap me that up. That wasn't the Milk Cup, was it? <laughs> I don't even know what the Milk Cup is. <laughs> yeah. But no. The, the Guinness cup. cup. The Guinness Cup. The Guinness Cup. Was yeah. that in the south of Of course Ireland, it is if it's Ireland, Irish, or? isn't it? It was in Dublin. Dublin, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, the Guinness Cup then, okay, yeah. yeah. No, there's a big tournament in the north of Ireland right. called the Milk Cup. It's called something else now, but it grew and grew I and grew you were over me the eighties. Some technology was that? Do yeah. I not know anything? Yeah, yeah. the Milk, <laughs> the Milk, Cup. Right. yeah, because it was sponsored by the Milk Marketing Board of Northern Ireland. Didn't the League Cup used to be called the Milk Cup? Didn't it, or was that the uh, the other trophy that was played between the? I leagues just, one I just and two. Remember it as the Worthington Cup, Matt, because that's when we won. <laughs> yeah, let's leave it at that. We're going <laughs> off the top ones here, anyway. But yeah, yeah. So, at, so it came through like that, and Claudio Ranieri then obviously. Well, actually, I, his eye on I had to sort of, 
I had to wait because it was different and you have to wait till you were 16 back in the day to move over. Yeah. So I waited and I, actually it was, uh, Viali was still the coach at oh, okay. 2000. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But because I wasn't pro at that point, I guess the first year didn't count to some extent. But um, yeah, so just, you know, young, dumb and... That must have been exciting though because that was just when like Viali, yeah. that's when things just started kicking off with Chelsea, didn't it? With all the... Yeah. Probably just a year or two, maybe before that, yeah. was it all the but big games? They won the games? FA Cup that year, I came. Yeah, and um, well, Rude Hullet coming around. Did, did, yeah, so I think he was the year before yeah. I came, he left. But all these big name players. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. Booth, there's a, a, I remember standing, um, playing at Stamford Bridge yeah. and Rude Hullet was marking me at yeah. the corner. I just couldn't fathom it. I was thought it was a bit surreal. Yeah. Like, thinking, how did this occur? But I mean, for you to, to go in there, you're relatively young, yeah. all these big name players. Yeah, yeah. How did you find that? was scary i mean like i said it was good that i was young and i didn't really have any sort of mindset of how it's going to work you know it was just like i'll give it a go you know like yeah I, just you wasn't. sound a bit like me in yeah, my just, younger days yeah, yeah. Just young and <laughs> stupid to be honest like, yeah no you know like I know, <laughs> yeah just like I'm me. Right to come up with a clever answer <laughs> but hey, listen just, we're in our 50s and we're still <laughs> We're still not, still not, the penny still hasn't dropped for us <laughs> so um yeah that was great because the the way it was set up was different to to Union Berlin because you shared the training over the first year, which I've never even, I was right. never even close back home. There was academy and the first team, and it was it. You never got to see the first team players. Yeah, yeah. Even though they weren't in a in a, any good sort of league, really, without being disrespectful. And then you come to Chelsea and see all the the big boys, Zola's, there's a uh, Graham was so was always awesome with me. Uh, the ones I've just seen lifting the the European Championship from France, you know. Yeah, Dem Frank Leboeuf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there. Uh, I was just walking around the bar, you know, like. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> that is really? a big uh, jump. Yeah, yeah, big then jump. Then all of a sudden, you're sitting there having lunch because back in the day, it was just so open, so relaxed, where there wasn't any egos at yeah. the training on. It yeah, wasn't like yeah, and you just sat there on a the table like people would just come and sit with you no matter what sort of status they had in the game, and it was mm. like you know me as a six. Yeah, I, I can imagine even when we played at Leicester, and we were regularly playing yeah. against the likes of Chelsea. Yeah. I'd have been slightly intimidated if what it didn't happen, <laughs> understandably so. But if you'd got that move into a Chelsea ch changing room and environment, you'd be a little bit in awe of it, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, and we've been playing at that like level. Calibre, yeah. Yeah. You'd come from where you had, huge jump. But, yeah, but was it frustrating as well? Because I suppose it's fair to say your, time, your opportunities were restricted there, weren't they? Yeah. Um, I, if I look back now, I don't, I don't think there's any frustration in, in me, in my, in my mind, in my body about that time. It was just great. I mean, who gets to experience that, basically? Yeah. Yeah. Good learning curve as great. well. Great. Um, and it was tough. You know, like, none of it was easy. Like, everything was, every day was a struggle. Every day was a, a physical and a mental, you know, I didn't speak English, really, for the first sort of year. So that yeah. was tough in terms of fitting in with the lads and stuff. Like, you know, you, know, you want to hear the chat in the change room. Yeah, you know, and if you don't get it, it's a bit like... Yeah, or well, they're speaking about you and cold. Yeah, you know? that's the German <laughs> part of it. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Where did you live? Did you live on your own then? Or? Uh, I lived with a family first. The first in Diggs, eight, yeah. Yeah, Diggs, yeah, 18 months. And then I, I moved out there. Yeah. So just after my, just before my 18th birthday, yeah, I moved out. But yeah, no, it's great. I mean, I do love, looking back, and I, I do think for kids now or, or teenagers or when, anyone that comes through, it needs to be tough. Like, it doesn't need to be nice or... yeah. Or muddy cuddled, or yeah. you know, like you need to be challenged every day, and sometimes yeah. you need to have it down days where you're just having a, you a, have bad, a bad day, day or you just go think, home and, yeah. think rubbish at football or rubbish at training. You do need to have it, and back then, it, I mean, I was good with sort of discipline, with sort of being told you know good enough, you know, it's, it's like my well, I am good enough, so it was always that a challenge. Spurred you on, yeah, yeah. Um, but quite a few from that sort of generation went on and played professional football so it kind of all been bad so but if i look back it's great it's great look you know just to have you know claudio come in that real is you know giving me some advice and yeah. and so on it's just, just Mourinho came in later, later on and what was that like playing under Mourinho? um again that the uh, sort of expectation and the sort of the toughness that came with him was just another level because claudio was tough in itself you know he had all yeah. the italians in and they were all Old school Italian, you know, this is how we play, fitness, fanatics, everyday fitness work. So that was really tough, even for, for a young boy like myself. And then Jose came, came in and he completely changed the sort of, the way we trained and prepared, sort of different, but everything was 
prepared, you know, in advance. So you knew your trading schedule, which sounds stupid now because everyone does it. But yeah. if I'm looking back 15, 16 years ago, I was an 18 year old. Oh, no, it was all a little bit off the cuff pr yeah, previous yeah, yeah, yeah. to that, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there, was, was. there was no like sports sign. It was like, but we played last night of a tiger. But I don't care. We were running today. That was so hard to back in that mood. You guys know, wasn't it? Yeah. You're rubbish, yard running. Yes. And <laughs> Mourinho came in and it's like professional just went up through the roof. Boy, training was amazing. Uh, feedback was great. Preparation was just like every, all the players that were there were like, this is amazing. Like, this was, you know, revolutionary for, for football in, at the time. And I think you could see that the first two, three, four years where he was there. The performance from less uh, from from Chelsea just went yeah. from yeah. from being close to challenging to being, you know, smashing out of the you, park. You for, saw yeah. that the, the players were enjoying it yeah. as well, weren't they? Yeah. They were all really with Mourinho, weren't yeah. they? They're like right behind him. Oh, I love them. It seemed know, like that. Lampard, the Terry, etc. Playing for Mourinho at yeah. that time when he first came in. For sure, and I always sort of, if people don't play and they still enjoy it, that's normally a good little indication yeah. of of what it's like to be around that players and. Listen, like you said, I didn't play a lot of the times. And when I did, it was like, you know, wear your sleeve up and give it 120%. Um, but it was still great and, uh, for me. And even like, uh, I don't know, can't think of the players that were there, all of them. But even the players, Joe Cole, Glenn Johnson, all that sort of players that didn't get as many game time yeah. at times as I would have done. They loved it. That's the level yeah. of player, and they're still not getting. They, yeah, they weren't getting in, and like on a Sunday morning after after Saturday game, you know, like the atmosphere's a bit rubbish for the players yeah. that didn't play. I yeah. managed, the manager's rubbish. I don't. Know, this is. Uh, <laughs> and training was sharp. It was brilliant. People came in. They were on time. Training was excellent, and it never. I know we were winning at the time, so interesting to see if it was if we were poorly. But training was awesome, and like the players that dropped out, and then the ones that came in. They were all at it, you know. There wasn't like a. Oh, they, weren't, play yeah. Yeah. they weren't tossing it off no. because they weren't playing on the Saturday. No, they no. still come in and do the work on the. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They were ready. They were like, you know, like like hungry dogs in a wild, like waiting for that one for that two minutes of the game to show them yeah. what you can do, and that yeah. was the sort of atmosphere. I probably realised they were in, a, like fortunate to be in a special place. Yeah, and a special time as well. And well, you see with the, the teams now, don't you? You know, like City, Liverpool, yeah, all those. Whoever comes on, yeah. they are running on there and they are giving it they're creating that sort of you know that that, that wheel of the ones that are on the pitch are scared of losing their place so that they're performing through yeah, the roof and then yeah. if they're tied after 60 65 minutes they cut off and someone Riyadh comes on for 25 30 minutes <laughs> and he just rips it up again you know like yeah. he's got that right i've got 30 minutes to show to show him yeah yeah um, absolutely so that was a sort of environment so you won you won two premier leagues yeah. under uh Mourinho yeah. at chelsea have you got both your medals? I've got all of them, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Am, I, am I correct in saying that I heard a story that Mourinho chucked one of your medals into? Oh the yeah, the someone said it's absolute nonsense. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what that. Could be. <laughs> it did seem a bit bizarre. I think yeah. there could have been a bit of a like not lawsuit, but I don't think you can be allowed to throw someone's Premier League, Premier League medal. Away. Yeah. But no. Didn't they, didn't they say something about Mourinho with Roma? Was it when they won the Europa League? He did something similar. Porto. No, recently. I think it oh, was. The Europa, oh, the, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he did it. Conference. It must be Europa a League conference. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for one of the lads that didn't play too, I don't know. But yeah, I don't think so the story yeah. goes. That yeah. was a non-question then, Tex, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. But I've got it in the notes. Right. Just somebody, my researcher, my personal researcher, <laughs> found that <laughs> bit of <laughs> scandalous information out about you. Right, yeah. Probably have them words <laughs> later after this. Yeah, what you're saying about Chelsea, yeah. the sort of team spirit, etc. Yeah. Did you have some fun days out at Cheltenham, for instance, with the boys? Yeah, for sure. That? I mean, introduce introduce yourself to horse racing, and yeah, I mean, I never got horse racing, but I just I was I was not one to miss out on on a good day out. Or a good social. Day out. It's important, you, yes. you know. You, you guys know you, it's uh, it's something that gets overlooked sometimes. It gets a little bit too yeah. serious, and we get stuck in that. Oh, you know, the next game, the next game. Sometimes you just need to step back and sort of have a bit of fun. And like something that obviously at Chelsea was great, in particular, and all my clubs I played really was that sort of social social thing was whoever was in charge, the coach or manager, they, they knew it was important. You know, yeah. it's not just 10 o'clock on a training pitch. Sometimes we'd be up for training and then go for a game of golf and have a few beers. You know, it's, it's sometimes just as simple as that, just to get everyone to go together. Absolutely. Yeah, I think pretty much. 
every team at whatever level that yeah. I've played with that was successful, whether that be League Two or Premier League in relative terms, yeah. Yeah. always had yeah. a good social aspect of it. I mean, Martin O'Neill, our old mm. manager, used to fine us if we got in before the curfew. <laughs> it was one of them, <laughs> one of those mentalities. So uh, we joined, but we joined you had success right again, so it, it does sort of work. Strangely, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. trying to explain Absolutely. it to the odds that people, oh, why are they having fun? It's like you say, it's like a bond. Yeah. But it's a bond away from the chaos and the madness of football. Yeah. And so you're just like, you know, being yourself, being daft, being stupid, having a few beers. But you have to be a little bit careful, though. Those Chelsea boys were sort of the, I don't know, people might beg to differ, but like the first sort of group of superstar footballers yeah. almost weren't they yeah, yeah razzmatazz and mm. everyone's eyes were on them if they were out yeah i mean it was still sort of early do doors and, and, yeah. and, and no cameras phones yeah cameras. that was that was a bonus I mean, it was yeah just, it's just about come through it was mms back in the day wasn't it when yeah. you said the picture yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it took like <laughs> five <laughs> minutes to get through <laughs> yeah. so, but it's too late by then you're gone that was it um but yeah i mean this is we all people we all adults you know we're gonna have some fun. boys will be boys and all that yeah i mean yeah, yeah. I, I mean i don't think i mean nowadays it's obviously different you know you 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 park at the wrong spot someone will yeah. take a picture and sort of try and stitch it up which is did, did the lads find that frustrating in this, this uh, the modern era that side of things um i guess so because i always thought if i meet someone that i really adore or want to have a signature from or whatever whatever it is i would want to speak to them yeah you know like just get a little one sentence of a person you know what was it like yeah you know winning this or doing this you know no just you have a picture like yeah. I, i'm not yeah. being funny but i don't i've not known anyone in my circle that showed me a picture and i was impressed <laughs> yeah. do you know what i mean like look there's me with yeah uh, yeah yeah with, excuse me mate i'm more on the social selfie. side you know it's because they're yeah. a bit restricted aren't they they've got to be a little bit careful oh so. for sure yeah, yeah, yeah i mean um you really have to pick your venue and your, and your timings and be careful because like i said it's understandable in a sort of football environment when you see people go out, you know, in times when the, when the team loses or on a bad line, you know, we understand that it's needed, yeah, yeah. you know, or, or it's sort of last resort just to get sort of anything sort of going. But from the outside, it's like, you know, they're, they're waving the finger at you going, why are they doing this? You know, they should be working extra hard. Yeah. And it's almost two words clashing, you know, where, where so just get it. So remember yeah. that people watching this, <laughs> if yeah. you want a selfie, with Robert, just go and have a chat with him. Yeah, don't. Just ask him how he's <laughs> yeah. doing. You know, just come on and say I'll hello. take a bad picture at the best of times. So. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So, well, successful times. Yeah. Although slightly frustrating yeah. at Chelsea. Moving on, you end up going to Middlesbrough. Yeah. For, for, was it £5 million pound at the time? Oh, I don't In and around that figure. Yeah. Um, Sizeable fee. Bargain. Sizeable fee oh, at that bargain. time. Yeah. Bargain. Exactly, it was. It was a good few years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. It's safe to say, but yeah. that's a, like, a big fee at that time. But Gareth Southgate signed you? Yeah. 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 And then you didn't make things easy for yourself, did you? You go up to Middlesbrough and you've got Jonathan Woodgate's there, of all people. I think we signed three players signed at the same day. Yeah, me, Jason Ewell and, and Woodgate. All Jason Ewell as well, yeah. Of course on the went. same day, yeah, we all signed. All in this building, all sort of staggered. Door one, door two, door three. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Did uh, you play with Jason Yule? No, but no. we played. I, I was just thinking there. Sometimes you sort of invent it, imagine it. I can't mm. remember if we actually played against each other. I know you were in the squad sometimes, Leicester played against Chelsea. Yeah. I think you played I, at Aldershot. Aldershot? Yeah. In when a, you got back from, from an injury, would have been early 2000s. In a reserve game? In a reserve game. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. You might have played. Or maybe you came on late in the game, I think, back at Stamford Bridge. Yeah. Was, uh, I remember seeing you back in well, those someone days. To, someone to Google that. Yeah. 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 We're, we're but definitely, like. I remember you playing because there was, it was, you know, like in the team, you go, oh, we got you playing and it's like, oh, like, oh shit. What, you know? what? <laughs> got those lumps. Yeah. <laughs> Hide. <laughs> no, no, no. What, what was he like, <laughs> Jonathan Woodgate? Because I, I class him as the best centre half I've ever played against. Ever. When he was at his peak. When yeah. he was at his Which peak. Which wasn't for very long, Which, unfortunately. No, yeah. but I, I, I mean, I just thought he was the complete centre half. Yeah. He had the full armoury. He could run, he was quick, he could play football, uh, he could head it, you know, do what you're meant to do as yeah. a centre half, basically yeah. defend. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he was in a similar sort of position to me that he sort of kept getting injured at Middlesbrough. Yeah, right. Um, so I can't sit here and say that's. 
you seen that in the other? No, only because I've seen him struggle as much as I have. Yeah. You know, we were in the treatment room or in the physio pretty much at the same time or if yeah. I was playing and he, he was in it and vice versa. So um, I think we just got to a point where injuries just catch up and then I played with him at Stoke again. A few years yeah, after. he came back round again. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, he played right back and it's fair to say he wasn't the best right back. Well, he the loved the right back, though, didn't he, Tony, Tony Pulis? Pulis. He loved the centre-half at right back, didn't I he? think he got hooked a few times after, after about 30, 35 minutes. Yeah, his, his career sort of stuttered and faltered, didn't but, he, for how good a player he was. I remember we played against at Filbert Street against Leeds. And it was Woodgate and Ferdinand. <sighs> didn't have a, we didn't have a prayer no. against those two as, yeah. a, as, as a pair in tandem. They were unbelievable, yeah, yeah. They, at that time. But you don't think make things easy for yourself, Robert, do you? <laughs> no. But the centre halves you got to go up against or whatever. But successful times generally at Middlesbrough. And how, how was it under Gareth Southgate? How no, it was great. And I had a few opportunities to go to different clubs, and he was the only sort of manager that took time out um, to meet me. Can imagine that in, yeah. in London to come down and right, good. Which was a few London clubs back in the day, in the day sort of interested in signing me, and they didn't even make an effort. Yeah. And he came all the way up from or down for minutes, but to, to beat me for an hour, that's all it was, you know, just to sort of, right, I'm going into management, you'd be ideal for the next, how many years, and you know, that's, for, for me, that's important. Yeah, no, for, someone else might, for someone else it might not be, but for it me. It seems that's a big part of his, his management style, doesn't yeah. it? You know, with the national and I thought, team, well, that's decent, you know, like if I'm going to invest my time into you, then that's the way I expect it to go. And so f from that moment, it was like, yeah, okay, let's, let's do it. And I come up, sign and, and sort of, tried a success um didn't quite work out in terms of having great success because i kept breaking down with injuries and yeah again more frustration like that yeah it? and like i said you know once you got a bit of a fee on your head it's you know you well you rush back from injuries you know if you look back now it's like, oh, why did i come back to you know like oh that that's a problem oh, from back in the day yeah. isn't it because like you say, you, you rush yourself back. You're mm. under pressure from yeah. the manager. The well, not even that. I just think you're under pressure yourself. You know, like I don't you never felt. Back. Yeah, just like, oh, wow, I'm up here now. It's the like, person though when you're injured or you're out for that long or you get back, yeah. you play two or three games, you get another injury. Yeah. It's the pressing. So you do, you, you, you're forcing yourself yeah. to get back fitter probably it, quicker than you should do. It seems like now that modern players are not allowed to do that. They're, they're, no, yeah, we've the got to be 100%. Are more on it, aren't yeah. they? Or as like close they, to 100%. They tell you when you're fit. You don't sort of tell them when you're fit, yeah. pretty much. I don't know, I might be wrong on that, but yeah, I think in a, the long run, that serves the players better. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's that, that middle balance, isn't it? But if I look back, I would have definitely taken another month out and then maybe not been injured as much. But yeah, yeah. hey, who knows? Yeah, no, it were good times. But nevertheless, um, so after Middlesbrough, going on Stoke. Yep. And became a bit of a cult hero there, didn't you? Yeah. One way or another. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. fair to say. Yeah, yeah. Your paths didn't cross, did you? Not quite. No. no. Just well, I, I retired. Jerry was at Stoke as I well, retired yeah? in two thousand and six, and then obviously. Well, Robert... officially, you retired about two thousand three. <laughs> yeah. <but. laughs> yeah. So no, I, I'm probably miss Robert by about three or four God. years. That would have been a pair in you. Did two, you train at the Michelin yeah. ground? Oh right. yeah, and it was horrendous back then. I, I didn't even see it. Tony got me to the training ground on the day I signed. I said, oh, can I go and see the training? Going, ah, oh, don't worry. Yeah, the lads are the lads are off. There's nothing to see there. And then <laughs> I saw it. They're all the same. They're all the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, absolutely pulled a good one on me. And the next day, I went to training. I'm driving through this estate. Going, where is the training on here? There was nothing there. It was oh, just man. one little <laughs> porter cabin. Was it that bad? Oh did, yeah. Did you so. actually get changed, or did you change at the stadium? Initially at the stadium. At the stadium. And then yeah. a bit later on, they put some showers. In. Oh, did they? Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's well. like, what? That's luxury, on. Robert. That prim was luxury, mate, for yeah. you guys. You got no, Premier League as that well. That was Premier League. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that was oh, amazing, man, it? it was horrendous. Not so long ago, either. And at the sewage, by the end of it, at the sewage yeah. next to the canteen, uh, it's like, no, not right. But, yeah. It's uh, talking about centre half teammates that we've mentioned a few yeah. times. Yeah. Probably know where I'm going with yeah. this one. Ma Matthew Upson, mm -hmm. Stoke as yeah. well. And then later on became yeah, yeah. your teammate. But yeah. you had a little. Fracker. Ding dong. Yeah. Ding dong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. With him when he was at West Ham? Yeah, it was West Ham, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you, you dropped one on him, did you? Yeah, yeah. Deservingly <laughs> so, <I'll, laughs> if I go back on it. Um, go on, talk us through it. What happened? Well, obviously, with Tony, we used to work on set pieces and stuff, and yeah. they obviously worked against us that week. And uh, they kept blocking my run. Like, not blocking me, but to a point where, like, right, this is getting real now. Like, yeah. someone's getting me. <laughs> And um, I like, with a wide free kick, and again I run in. 
I don't know who someone blocked me. So I, whoever's there next time, get me. So um, I'm running in. The same thing happened. Just sort of swung my arm at him, and I clocked him right up here. And obviously, it's blood everywhere. But no one properly. saw me do it. Everyone was just like, "What happened?" Just this guy on the floor, blood everywhere. Like, that's class. The no, best. I, no, no, no. Oh, like that, Gerald. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. No brilliant. idea what happened. The ref's like, "Well." I've I can't send anyone off because I haven't seen, seen anyone. The linesman hasn't seen anyone yeah. doing it. So I'm like, oh, I got Great away man. with this one. But Won the didn't. game anyway then. But it gets worse for, for, for Matty because he got stitched up. Big kind of eye comes out second half. And then the, my center partner, Ryan, kicked him on the same spot. Really? <laughs> <laughs> the Brilliant. second half, he, he, he got, yeah, yeah, he yeah. proper got a size 14 in his, in his, in his eye. <laughs> 14. <laughs> That's going uh, on. And, oh, yeah, he had a tough day that the afternoon at, <laughs> at, the, at the grid. But, yeah, I got banned afterwards. And yeah, you got Tony was like, oh, listen, banned, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tony was like, listen, you got caught. No, no hard feelings. Just yeah. your three games. That was it. But <laughs> you're in similar company. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But to be fair, Matty was great when I saw I him here. Say, he how, was how, like, did, hey, how did that conversation go when you met up and played in the same team? You know, I'm sorry about that, Matt, but you know, you had a common mate. Yeah, yeah. no, you came in. You walked into Stoke to change. You was like, "What happens on a pitch day?" And I was like, yeah. "Thank God, this could have been a bit awkward." Fair you enough. know, I was warming up my sleeve, thinking, "This kicks off." You know, before yeah, you, yeah. you crunched them. Were you telling them? No, I didn't know it was uh, him. No, it I was mean, but so you, oh, just right. inside your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next person's getting it. Yeah, yeah. I was so just, you weren't going around saying this. And I'm, I'm no, no, it was there. just me, and my my stupid yeah. little brain. No, 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 that's yeah. great. Because but normally <laughs> we'd have been the the type would go round telling them. I didn't you, know your what, elbow comes anywhere near my yeah, face. Yeah. You're having it. Next I don't time think he was right. marking me at the time either. Right. I think it was complete. Uh, he was just one yeah. one player. Just some time. bystander. Oh, that's brilliant. Collateral damage. I think we we used to say. Yeah, to be fair, Matt wasn't that sort of player, was no, he? He was quite he was a bit silky, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he, you know, he wasn't overly aggressive, aggressive was he? No, no but I've got on with him great ever since. Even at Stoke, we, we always got on. And yeah, he's good at isn't he? Yeah. Good lad. So, no, not one to degree. hold a grudge, put it this way. No. But he, he loved the centre half at full bag, didn't he, Tony Pelis? Oh, yeah. I used to play my first 18 months. used to play right back at Stoke. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, didn't, I, I, didn't even have do, I didn't even know how to do a throw in my first. Like, you should never do a throw in, do you? So the first time yeah. I played, it was like, Right, how do I throw <laughs> this ball in? Like, it sounds stupid, but I haven't taken a throw it in. Just it it in. <laughs> in it. So he's making you just throw... Yeah, yeah I didn't know the clue. Yeah. Work the line, work yeah, the line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get a throw and further up the pitch, that was it. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Was... And then, obviously, after that, yeah. then this is where things start it to really... It all really happens. Kick yeah, the magic. <laughs> big time. Uh yeah. You get transferred, or you co you come on loan first, don't you? Yeah. To Leicester City from Stoke. Mm. Uh, how did that come about initially? That that move initially. Um. Well, like I guess like any other move, really. You know, the, the both clubs got into contact with, with with Stoke and and obviously Leicester and my agent and so on. And did Nigel uh, uh, speak there? Did yeah, yeah, I spoke up? to Nigel. Yeah. Um, again, he picked up the phone and sort of because it was. It wasn't done at the time. It was sort of a type of chat. So it wasn't a person. It was, if the context not done, it's not idea to meet in person, is it? So he was, he was a bit more like, let's just do it over the phone. And again, uh, he was very confident in staying up. And you know, sometimes if you speak to people, you get a bit of a feedback, don't you? But I didn't hear any sort of fear or doubt, or you know, could have just made it up. I, you know. Yeah. No, it, but that it was sound, a constant throughout the season. Wasn't yeah, it? no, it really was. And when I got in here, it was it was very very similar. You know, there wasn't any sort of. Uh, second thoughts or any sort of, oh, this is a bit, mm, I don't know, you know, like sometimes it can be, can it? When you, well, they weren't losing games by big margins no. too often. It was no. always pretty tight. Yeah. yeah. But no one quite predicted well, no. your influence. Yeah. And yeah, also, well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, you've got to, well, you've got to take a little bit of credit for <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, I, I always think it's always, it always is and always will be the team. I don't yeah. think there's one individual or two. I think it's one doesn't work without the other. And, no, but it wasn't just a coincidence as well. No, you but I was part, part like, of like, it. Yeah. Oh, you're just part of it. You're part of that forever. And, you know, it's spitting weird. It never stops spitting. And, yeah. But it is, you know, and um, yeah, great six months here. It really did. And like I said, it's, it's weird walking in here because you wouldn't have thought we were bottom of the league hmm. at no point. Um, and Nigel was great in that. He was just like, yeah, just need to get a win. You know, it looked miles away when you're bottom of the league. Yeah. I think, I don't know seven eight points away from from safety you know like oh where's the win going to come from but every day was just like get a win and get a win get a win and then we did and then 
It looked good. I tell Seven you, out of nine at the back yeah. end, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. When did you join in February? Uh, I think last week of January. I saw Ryan about last week. Yeah. 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 yeah, good times. I was, I was fortunate enough to be commentating on all those games. Yeah. I got to see it sort of unfold and it was, uh, I thought that was amazing enough. And then, yeah, obviously the next season that happens and for initially, I suppose, how, how did the players feel coming into that season with what you'd achieved mm. under Nigel and then all of a sudden a new manager? Yeah, what was in. that like when you found out Nigel had left and Claudio was coming in? Well, we didn't know to her for a long time into the preseason, so right, it got two, two, three weeks. Well, not a long time. I mean, in terms of preseason, it was a long time. Um, yeah, we just got the news as I guess as unit. You know, Nigel was sacked. I think that was two days before we met up, and I was like, you know, you, I put my eggs into that basket. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it was, it was, you know, it was a big bolt from the blue, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and yeah. Uh, Sinji signed, uh, Fuxi signed. So yeah. three players in my position already that sort of, you know gone here for Nigel for Nigel and it sort of yeah yeah just blew up um but I mean I, I was buzzing you know we'd finished sort of on a high in terms of of staying up and I trained ridiculously hard off season ready to come back here bit of a downer in terms of the news we got but having said that you know the staff that Nigel left here they were awesome yeah you know they're just sort of shaky, shaky yeah. uh Reevesy all the sort yeah, of Beckman Reevesy. staff that were here they just I know Nigel was gone but the plan was still there, so we yeah. just sort of didn't sort of go away from the training schedule or the workload or anything like that. When you went in the went back in the pre-season, uh, and obviously the managerial change had been made, did you have any kind of inkling mm -hmm. of what you were about to achieve? I can you answer know, this one. No. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, did you feel confident in thinking, well, we're going to have a good season this year after the, what happened at the back end of the Great Escape season. Yeah. And you were going into this pre-season stroke season mm. with a lot more confidence, a lot more belief. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, you, you talk about some of the players that joined as well. N'Golo Conte had just yeah. come in then yeah, as well, yeah, hadn't he? Yeah, yeah. It was obviously a massive sign yeah. as well. Well, relatively unknown. And relatively time. unknown, absolutely. Yeah. So what was the feeling in, in, in the training ground then going into that season, the beginning of that season? Well, the good thing is we didn't lose anyone from that squad. So we, yeah. we've gained players, which is what you build on as a team. You know, you had a good finish, so let's build. Um, in terms of the way we were looking at it, the season was, you know, like, you don't think you're going to, you, you don't have a number in your head where you're going to finish, but you think, yeah, this is good, this is brilliant. We've, we've had pace in the team. Yeah, We had a few old people like me, and where's Mark, where's Schwartz, he was in the team. So a really nice mixture in terms of, Ability, fitness, yeah. pace, strength, experience, and so on. So, yeah. yeah, of course we were excited and sort of confident, but you know, that's sort of like without the, the manager being there it was a bit like oh, what the unknowns there. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a great bunch of lads. You know, that it wasn't wasn't any sort of downers or anything like that. It was always and that's of, important. Yes, yeah, it's, it's always important. it was always looking up and sort of. If you have a bad day, then it's just a bad day. That's it. Hmm. No more, no less. Tomorrow or this afternoon, never session. It's 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 moving on. So that was a sort of feeling. It was a great place to be. It really was. You know, you know, in terms of the, the tactical side, without yeah. going too deep on yeah. it. Um, in that season, that's certainly probably the majority of the time defended quite deep, which yeah. suits yourself and Wes. Um, you know, full backs were there alongside you to help help along and. You didn't mind crosses coming in too much, did you? From what I saw, yep. you're almost sort of daring people to go, go on and then put the ball in because yep. we'll yep. deal with that. Yep. Um, and then play on the counter. Of course, you've got the pace, the ad, etc. Yep. Was that an intentional ploy from the outset, or was it something that just sort of developed and you realised? We, we, basically, was it was orchestrated by Claudio Ranieri, or is it? Oh, this is working. We'll adopt that sort of style. Um, I think you just said. It. I think it's something that developed. You know, like if you look back at the start of the season, it wasn't great, no. was it? Like we were quite poor yeah. uh, defensively and sort of, we scored loads of goals, but the setup wasn't quite right. I don't think if I look back at it. Um, and then we found our groove, yeah. We found the team, we sort of, from match day six or seven, we yeah, sort of- Became a formula. Yeah, such, yeah. yeah, we, you know, we didn't change players too much. We sort of, uh, the, the sort of same players played 
pretty much the same position, uh, same formation, and it's um, yeah, like I said, we just sort of why this work and what why change? Um, certainly at home, I thought we we played a lot higher. We put teams, yeah, yeah. you know, because oh, at times the football was incredible. Yeah, that was that passage of play. I think it was against Liverpool. Yeah. You know, they keep showing it. The yeah. ball, ping, 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 yeah. eight times. Yeah. Was it Okazaki nearly yeah. got in, didn't he? Yeah. Through drink water. Do you remember mm, that one? Yeah. yeah. And that was as good as anything you'll see. Yeah. And that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And semi certainly at the. Semi regular. Semi regular. <laughs> yeah, and certainly at the, at the KP, like, it was always because it was such a special place to be, you know, to play here when, yeah. it's, when it's sold out. And we had to make use of the fans. You know, so certainly at home it wasn't like let's let the other team sort of attack us. It was always like in the chambers, like right, let's get out. First 10, 15 minutes, let's let's just get high. Yeah. And I don't know how many times we nicked the ball high up and yeah. just one pass, and, and then we scored. And then, like you said, then we sort of dropped you get back the advantage, in. and then deal yeah. with it. Yeah. And then we sort of sat back a little bit deeper, nicked the ball, and then we had obviously all the pace in the road up front to mm. sort of. Uh, to finish teams off and we did that loads that year but certainly at home it was ferocious the first 10-50 minutes you know we remember playing Stokey and obviously it's still having a few they were like Jesus Christ you know it was like balls in the box runners tackles you know through balls sprints were like that was tough the first 50 minutes and they were almost like the game was done then because we won it up and you know, it's just one of many examples, but is that the game against Stoke when you took that? Yeah. Info That's the one. <laughs> the one for throwing. You don't get away with that. Yeah, the one for throwing. Yeah, actually, well, you've got, you've got, yeah, it was throwing. Yeah, yeah. How, how has that come about, Robert? Because you've got Danny Drinkwater, you know, great technician. Yeah, Riyad, how many free counts has he scored? I don't know. Exactly. I, I swear, I'm, I, this is where I'm going with it. Riyad Mahrez. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah I give you that unbelievable one. Unbelievable technician. Yeah. yeah. I'm big Robert Hoof yeah. off from the back and you're on free kicks. Well, you guess where that is going. I I saw the headlines and I thought, well, I tune it up. <laughs> I'm going to put one top corner. <laughs> I'm going to rub it into an old club. You used to take a few free kicks though, didn't you? You scored a couple of deflections. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Even, <laughs> didn't you even in your Chelsea <laughs> days though? Yeah, I've scored a couple. Just, of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I used I to have a good right foot in terms of touch, power. Hammer but, it and hope for a deflection. Yeah, a deflection. One of those, but, one. but he's gotten your way, hasn't he, Drinky? Thank you. Yeah, finally did. someone he did put you off yeah, yeah we sort of uh, miscommunicated on the day yeah. but yeah I, I but get not to that degree <laughs> I should have just stopped doing it shouldn't I, I should have just, maybe you should have just given yeah, me yeah, all that just slide, slide in or whatever yeah drink get out of my <laughs> uh, way but yeah I mean luckily we're tuning up and sort of yeah, saw the game didn't up, really matter Cloudy didn't even see it Cloudy thought it was close <laughs> so it didn't give me any didn't a different me, angle yeah yeah, yeah he's just like, oh, I thought it was close because obviously from the sideline you didn't see the angle it went he just thought it went close so he didn't give yeah, me any a, the keeper wouldn't got it he didn't move it's <laughs> a throw in I mean it's, it's, that's a talent in itself to <laughs> put one out for throw in but go, going back to it though you, you scored some big big goals yeah. in that season as well you know obviously there was the two a man city scored yeah. a goal at Tottenham yeah. away massive goal out of those, in that season, out of those goals, which one would, would you pick, I say, not necessarily your favourite, but the most important goal to get you to where you eventually, you know, ended up, i.e. winning the winning the league? Yeah. I probably because said, both yeah. massive games. Yeah. Both very tight games. Yeah, I probably should have scored a lot more, to be honest, mm. if it wasn't for my bad finishing. <laughs> 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 but... um yeah, I'd probably say Spurs because that was what Spurs, I was getting. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Spurs was under pressure for pretty much from minute yeah. one to the last yeah. minute. Tough game, wasn't it? That was a really tough game. And we t toughed it out, you know, typical of the season. We had a pretty rubbish. Grinded it out. That's it. Yeah, grind smash, out. Yeah. smash and grab. Smash and grab. That, and uh, not ashamed at all to say it to be honest. Yeah. Uh, it felt pretty great after the change room. But um, we had a pretty bad sort of Christmas, New Year. Not bad, but we drew games where yeah. we won them before. Um, so just go ahead to get back winning and then we didn't really look back from that point no. of view really we sort of kicked on um, that was really deflating for Spurs wasn't it Spurs, oh, Spurs I, I, I can well, still right? hear the noise I can still hear the oh. yeah they're, they're thinking <laughs> oh, this, yeah, they're, not, they're thinking like, well, Spurs. this is not going to last for no. Leicester it's a big opportunity for Tottenham no. wasn't it and well, they fluffed it down the line later on anyway but that was like the realisation as well wasn't it like, and that, that wasn't meant to happen yeah and sometimes like you know, like sometimes a smash and grab is a better win than playing well and winning four. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? it was yeah. a real, you know, arm and arm. Hurts the yeah, yeah, yeah. Backs against the wall. Back, Kasper did a couple yeah. of great saves. Uh, the the front guys worked their absolute, yeah. you know, the, the socks off and run back and tackled and only to win over 
set piece where they sort of stumble yeah. over each other and I had a free header put one in and you know it's that, that weird sort of we're sitting in the gym going well can do this for yeah. 19 yeah, minutes yeah, yeah. Exactly. you know we can sort of kick on from that and well obviously do some other strange things yeah we certainly did <laughs> yeah, yeah man city as well wasn't it yeah. That, yeah, that, that was, was a when, great game. I mean, I've heard other players, yeah. your teammates at the time, say that that was the moment. Yeah. Maybe with you the same. The yeah. moment the, the realis- realization mm. sort of kicked in that yeah. hang on, we're capable here. We're capable of doing yeah. something ridiculous. Was, yeah. was, it, was it that same feeling for, for you then, Man City? It's, no, it certainly was a great day. But I would probably say the West Ham game here at home was right. Okay. Yeah. Was like right. This is on. You know, because. The games were ticking down and the points gap stayed the same. So I was thinking something really. That, that, uh, that was Villa. Where he's oh, that was gone. Villa when yeah. he took one in the chops. Took one in yeah, the chops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's we see him the next. We see him a couple. I'll tell you the, game, the game for me when you, when you. I think he's playing there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you played Southampton at home. Yeah. And we scored. Yeah. And but Danny Simpson. I, I'm sure he handballed it. But I can't be hundred percent sure when Manny goes through and goes round right. the keeper, and Danny Simpson saves it on the yeah. line or stops it from going in, and then Wes goes up the other end a few minutes later. Oh and yeah, and but I remember Kuma was complaining like a little such and such, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I thought after yeah, that, yeah. I think that was about <sighs> eight or nine games left to go, something like that. Well, the sun was shining, so it was probably yeah. pretty late on, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Eight or nine games yeah, left to go, that, and yeah. you thought and and. Like Marnie was playing at the time. Yeah. Was Marnie was still, still at Southampton yeah, yeah, at the time. Yeah. And then you think he's going to score here. And somehow, hooker by crook, good old Danny keeps it from going yeah. in. And then obviously, you win that game and you think, yeah, Lady Luck yeah. is with Leicester. Oh, the force Not, was with Leicester, wasn't it? Yeah, well, right, but exactly. Not I guess just any player Lady will have a different point. Where point where they think, yeah, absolutely. Think no, there's a chance. Well, <laughs> brings us towards the, the, the latter stages of the season. Yeah. And I, I was tempted to bring up the, like, the day the trophy was presented yeah. here at the King Power against Everton. We'll come on to that in a minute. Before that, yeah. if we go in sequence of events, was the evening that Chelsea came back against Tottenham yeah. at the Stamford Bridge game, Eden Hazard and all that business. But I think what a lot of people would like to know, what was actually going on at the party? How good a feeling was that? At Jamie Vardy's house? Yeah. You know, everyone's seen the scenes a little bit, but behind the scenes, what was the feelings and emotions there? Well, I uh, probably you can imagine pretty well without, without putting people in the yeah, cards. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well, no. Um, How many well, bottles of champagne were on ice, ready to pop, <laughs> basically? Well, what we had to improvise at the end, put it this way. We didn't want to, you know, tempt the fade, so we yeah. hit them somewhere. But yeah, uh, <laughs> well, it didn't start off great at all, did it? Because it was no. really no. sort of it's like, well, oh, yeah, exactly. God, and then we had these guys here, the camera guys, sort of filming all just in case we we do get it done. Um, I was like, oh, this is terrible, isn't it? What a bad yeah. idea, because we sort of argued Don't with show it. this. I know, <laughs> well, there weren't anyway, but we sort of argued with, we can't let a camera team in just in case we do it. So it took forever to get that organized. It's like, they were there filming us and we're all sitting there like, you know, head on our hands, mm. tuning it down or tuning it up for, for Spurs. It's like, oh, God, all right, thanks for coming. Back to work tomorrow. Yeah, nearly you know, like, camera, cameras off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back to work tomorrow. Yeah. You know, like six, seven coronas. I'm going to go. <laughs> that made it easier. Don't better, want to go though, training tomorrow. Yeah. Because, you know, because you were down and, well, not down, but, you know, a little bit disappointed. You, st- you still would have done it anyway. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I course, think so. Yeah. Right. It's, so just it's, not take, it's not taken away from, from us winning it, but it would no. have been nice. I had, or even the, the game before against Man U, you know, where we had a good chance. Might put it in. I think it's Sinji that missed one, but. Yeah. It would have been nicer having done it on our turn, but obviously, who cares really? But, yeah. Um, yeah, just in the roller coaster of emotion, I think that, that day was where. Yeah, uh, it looked wild. It looked yeah, wild. it was like, you know, <laughs> people texting you, oh, we have to do it one more day, one more game. And obviously, oh, this is on. <laughs> yeah. This is on. And so it went from it being really quiet and people sort of spread to everyone sitting in one room and, you know. Come on, breath, a lot of whistle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really really tense, tense oh, yeah, it was it? tense. And then um, I remember Spurs had a, no, Chelsea had a free kick just before the end. And I thought it was 2 2 at the point, obviously. Yeah. Literally 20, 20 seconds ago, I was thinking, oh, they're going to put it in, they're going to break, and then it was yeah. Tottenham going to score. Yeah, it was still a bit of time, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and obviously they just passed in the corner, and then Chelsea yeah. being Chelsea just, can I say it? At the finest. You said it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you said what Absolutely you want, falling, falling over and pretending to be hurt. I was like, 
Yes. <laughs> I could see Tottenham just absolutely losing their, their minds at yeah. the score. Obviously the a big sort of... Um, oh, yeah, that made it even sweeter a oh, little bit. Yeah, just, without just without right. gloating. Yeah. But Tottenham were rattled. Oh, they? they were, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, I, how not more players got sort of banned after that game, yeah. I don't know. But yeah. anyway, the final whistle went and obviously, you know, we've seen the pictures all went sort of... Oh, oh the banter as well. The, was it the supporters? Leicester City, we're coming for you. Yeah. You know, that business, wasn't it? And... Jamie Vardy retorted a bit on social yeah. media, didn't he? With the old Lion King bit that was it. Star and yeah, was, yeah. yeah. Did you remember all that, Tex? Mm. Yeah. Uh, there was all sorts going on. Vaguely. So it made it a little bit sweeter as well. Well, yeah, I mean, oh, I don't know why you put that stuff up. No, nah, uh, setting no, yourself up for a fall, aren't you? Well, either way, even, even if you're winning or losing, I mean, yeah. just correct, exactly. isn't it? You know, and then you can... It bites you in the backside. You know, yeah, yeah, you, eventually. You, eventually, you eventually it always comes back. Yeah. You, you pipe up on social media occasionally, didn't you? And we talk to Sanchez yeah, at the oh, Arsenal gosh. game when, his, yeah. when he got his finger sliced off. Yeah, we just got to <laughs> a point where, I mean, even now, we just got to a point where it's accepted to be so soft and throw yourself on the floor. Yeah. And, you know, and even pundits say that all the time. He's, Bizarre, you know, the right to dog go down and... Yes. You know, I mean, obviously we're all defenders here, but yeah, well, the right he, to go down. I mean, that's the the most stupid. I get so infuriated listening to the, to these guys going, "Oh, the right to go down." Like, yeah. No, he hasn't. Any form of contact. Any, yeah, yeah it's, it's doesn't nonsense. necessarily make you go. Even down. As, oh, if the defender stick, sticks a leg out, what? That's his job. Yeah. You know, like the try and oh, and try it's just. And I mean, it's it's sort of getting a little bit better now in terms of what mm. they do with the leaves. Isn't it? Well, someone of your era finds yeah. it frustrating. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Dinosaurs like me and Jerry. We trying up when you're watching it, it and you see it and it's like. Well, uh, the good thing now this year, I guess, it's a little bit more better. It's still yeah, they're trying, to, yeah. they're trying to st stop yeah. it out a little bit, aren't they, yeah. the referees? For sure. Yeah. And it's, it's definitely a better product from a Premier yeah. League point of view, but it's still frustrating how some. I mean, we've played a game. You know, we've taken a knock. You know what's yeah. what, don't you? Yeah. But going back to that night, last yeah, thing so, on that, yeah, yeah. that celebration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What time did you get to bed? Was I don't it, think I did, to be honest. I don't no, think exactly. I did. No, obviously, uh, how can you go to bed? No. Um, no. Uh, yeah, we just met with all the staff in town. Obviously, got a bus back. Oh, you went out in town, did you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good um, effort, yeah. Obviously, the town was crazy, wasn't it? So it was yeah. brilliant. too good a chance to How out. did that work? Did you not have to go somewhere... To be fair, I was half cut, cut at that point. I don't really know how I got in. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, I think they had a security guy got there. I was, you know, obviously. I don't know where you ended up. <laughs> you were in Leicester somewhere. Somewhere, and then there's just, we just, someone woke me up, knocked on my room, sort of, you know, like half comatized and going yeah. on training. And I was going to say, did you still have to go to training? Yeah, yeah, day? we went in the next day. Next yeah. day? Yeah. Oh, that's you harsh. Took, yeah, everybody what? turned up for yeah, training. Yeah, it was one of them, though, you know, that. Like, yeah. That's hard. Um, obviously, we had to do the chairman. I know Frank Sinclair would have been on a play in the yeah. Spain or he'd somewhere. Have, he'd have finished the season there and then, wouldn't <laughs> yeah, he? Would, yeah, he wouldn't have seen Frank. <laughs> you probably know Frank. I know that Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chelsea days, yeah. 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 But, um, oh, well, so after that, the league's won. Celebrations the following Saturday, wasn't it, I think? Yeah. Was it the game against Everton when the, uh, the trophy was presented? Yes. And yeah, yeah. Um, I mean... <laughs> Was obviously, it's, it's what your thoughts are, but my own personal thoughts yeah. were, like you said there, it would have been nice to win it with your own yeah. directive sort of thing, you know, yeah. in front of the fans yeah. and that tension. I totally get that. But myself, I was like, do you know what? After, even from a player's point of view, this is, the, certainly from a supporter's point of view, I thought it was amazing how it was because you knew the league was won. Yeah. You could just enjoy the whole day. You didn't have that tension and that yeah. worry and that nerves. I was in town. Mm. doing some media work at nine o'clock in the morning the yeah. streets were buzzing yeah. and everyone was out and partying and the feel good vibe was amazing that yeah. whole day I mean, obviously you felt that as a player yeah anywhere mm -hmm. not just Leicester I think anywhere in, in, in the UK really um, wherever I went personally it was always just a yeah. it was just right great across, right across. it was great you know normally you get a bit of you know chat of of some supporters, but it yeah. was just lucky, lucky gets. Yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah. It wasn't probably not yeah. as nice as that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, that was it. Was just like I said, it was a, it was a great time, and Leicester was obviously buzzing. And the one thing this club does particularly well is is organise great events yeah. and make sure we're all involved. You know, yeah. ex players, players, supporters. You know, looking out from the outside, you don't really see it, but when you play for the club, you really. It is sort of all mingled in one, isn't it? The supporters. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. Um, supporters, the club, they're all sort of, it's one. It's one. 
You yeah, know, it has, it has been that did, way. Did for you a long get time. to see uh, before the game your man, the opera singer, was Andrea it? Bocelli? And, Andrea Bocelli. Yeah. Did you get to listen to that? Yeah, well, I suspended, game? wasn't I? So I, oh. I missed the last two games. So oh, I, yeah, oh, of right course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 I had to well, do it at nine o'clock. But mate, I, put I it wonder. Yeah, yeah, said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because obviously the lads come in from the warm up, yeah. back into the dressing room to get yeah. ready for the match, and that's when Bocelli came out yeah. and, and sang the songs. And I'm just wondering, yeah, that's a good point, would actually. they have actually have been able to? Claudio to hear was there, he was alongside him, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, obviously, I, I could do what I want because I yeah, wasn't preparing for a game, so I just you won the Premier League, mate. You do what you want well no i mean <laughs> no not like that obviously but <laughs> suspended so i could just sort of mingle around i think he was warming up in the the manager's office like warming up his voice what, what, what was, what was it yeah yeah oh. so got to see all that and filmed it which was it was brilliant wasn't yeah, it yeah it's pretty incredible pretty cool, wasn't it yeah incredible could, yeah that, that was that topped a lot didn't it oh it was incredible uh, yeah fair. he could sing <laughs> absolutely incredible uh so I just wanted to touch on a, f a couple of other things, Robert. Was after that season, you yep. go into the Champions yep. League. Uh, you get to the well. First of all, the game here yep. against Seville. Yeah. Uh, knockout the last sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You're looking at me for verif verification. Yes, there. I am. <laughs> oh God. Looking at you. <laughs> yeah, he'll tell you better than me. Dude. What an incredible evening that was. Yeah, yeah, and I'll be losing as well, won't we, from the from the, from first, the first game, leg. From the first game, yeah. So. But managed to get in a way a goal. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah Vardy, got Vardy got their way a goal, didn't he? And uh, you get them back here. What a, what an occasion that was. What was that like on that evening? Well, that goal really gave us belief to get back because I think it's fair to say we got a little bit outplayed uh, out in Seville. Um, they were just better on the day, really, um, and we didn't possibly play as well as we could have done, but nevertheless, we. Fortunate to score a goal mm. and sort of make a game back here. Um, but again, like the, the second that the game was finished and then the prior to that game, it was game on, you know, like everyone was like, even, even anywhere in the city in a training run where you, where you went and stuff, it was, we're going to do these, you know, like it wasn't just mm -hmm. me thinking it. It's like everybody. We, we, yeah, yeah, exactly. We'd be having lunch and like, yeah, of course we, it's only 2-1. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like it sounds fancy. Really, it. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. It sounds really arrogant now, but it was that sort of uh, attitude at the time. Was like, what do you mean we, it's going to be difficult? And I was like, well, yeah. And on so the first leg performance, yeah. you didn't really have reason to think. No, that. Ex absolutely <laughs> not. No. Um, and King Power under the lights. It's it's Brilliant. a special special place. And I know the chairman sort of did all his light show here with the the, the fox's yeah. eyes and sort of which wasn't allowed. Dogs for, of war. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> which wasn't allowed by uh, by UEFA at the time. But it is anyway. You know, yeah. it's like. All right, so he he clearly thinks we got a chance. Yeah, otherwise you wouldn't take the big fine and yeah. and, and do it. And yeah, well, it was. And obviously, I'd go well. Okay, let's do it. And I think from the first whistle, it was like just game on. It was yeah. it was a f physical tough game for Sevilla. We I think we were physically better on the day. Like just run him off the park, park. Um, just for the whole. Uh, extra time I think Casper Casper said one year, yeah, absolutely. Um, and we just hung in there you know they were desperate to score the goal um, another away goal um, but they didn't they never um, and we just anyone whoever came on that day they were the same just running around and doing anything they can for the team um, that's sort of the spirit of that sort of my time here anyway where you know starting or coming on or coming off it, was, didn't yeah. really, it did matter obviously but was, the lads just put in a it, shift and it was, it was a great draw, wasn't it, from start to finish? You know, from the group stages yeah. all the way through to the knockout stage. Fair, I, I, as in, I thought the group stage was doable. Yeah, but I mean, how good a team! I mean, and from our point of view, especially oh, from good, a selfish point of view, well, mate. Yeah. The, all the different cities around Europe where you yeah. got to go and visit yeah. was just incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, we did all right. We did well, all right. We, we were different. That, yeah, Copenhagen <laughs> is quite expensive though for the beers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that, that was that was the worst trip out of the lot in terms of mm. social. Well, of course. But, but we brought we'll something different on. to the table because <laughs> we're still a little bit old school in terms of get it wide, put a ball in a box. Oh, and yeah. we certainly at home, people didn't know what to do with us. You know, like it was, you know, because at that time it was very much, you know, play out and sort of yeah, not really. And we just, Mark on the, obviously on the right, putting balls in for our strikers. And you could see they were like, this is, we've not, not seen that. that. No, and certainly home games, we on pretty good group stages 
it was pretty comfortable most games. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, and then Sevilla as well. Decent effort, decent yeah. effort. The quarter final to the Champions League. Yeah, and I think first European campaign together. Oh, but we, we got two opportunities back in, yeah. Yeah. in, in the UEFA Cup. Yeah. Failed at the first hurdle, didn't yeah. we? Both times, although once against Atletico Madrid. And yeah, 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 that was Stop it. Gray, so decent opposition, but again, for you boys, just sort of confounded the critics again, didn't you? You got yourselves that far. And I still think had we scored a little bit earlier against Madrid on the return yeah. game, it could have because they were on the ropes. Oh, yeah, second yeah. half, they half, were on last the ropes. Half an hour. Uh, I mean, they were they were definitely on the ropes. Yeah, they were bringing defenders on. Oh. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was again bit of story while I was suspended for that one so but you know I was up, up <laughs> on top watching it it's like they were on they were like Big they time. were worried yeah yeah I mean obviously ultimately they got through and so on rest history but still for us to sort of put you know finalists uh, uh, brilliant yeah yeah they're, brilliant. Brilliant. They, they're seasoned like a team like Atletico Madrid they they get to the semis or the finals near enough every year or the, at least the quarter finals yeah and Simeone oh. is obviously knows how to defend for him to go but well, we're under pressure here yeah yeah to take exactly. one of the better players off and put a defense you know like yeah again, it's it's sport and I think we you know we put balls in and just that little fraction where we didn't quite get to the end of it otherwise who knows? Who, been, knows? who knows who knows, knows? could have yeah. done a Nottingham Forest there couldn't we <laughs> but, well, imagine that one but uh, he didn't do bad overall. Yeah, that no, was a so. great experience, I think. For Just obviously a big part of, uh, you mentioned him quickly, a big part of Leicester's success was yeah. your partnership with yourself and Wes Morgan. Um, did that click straight away? And also, because a lot of people thought, like they, well, they used to, not comparing mm. me and Jerry with you and Wes, but they used to think we were too cumbersome, too slow <laughs> to yeah. play Premier League. And, some people might have thought in the modern game that you and Wes yeah. might not have been, for want of a better word, mobile enough yeah. maybe or whatever. Although, would I be right in saying Wes is quicker than people think he is? Yeah. I see, I see Wes run. I, that's the when he gets that, going, he's not slow, is he? Well, I threw up my sort of playing career. That everyone says, oh, it's a big centre-half. Yeah. You, you must have had it all your life where it's just a lazy sort of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Co- throwaway comment, yeah. you know, when they go, oh, okay, six for three, you can't be anything. Yeah, edit, listen, kick it. Yeah, you play in the best league, you know, arguably in the world, so you can't be that slow. You know, no, exactly. You know, you know was I slower than. I was slow. I was well, really slow, but I just had a bit of. Quick I up read here. it and stuff. Quick up, yeah, <laughs> but, you know, you can't be too harsh as because you play a professional sport. Like, was I slower than, than Sado Mane? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much 99, 9.9%. <laughs> Level, levels. Then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It would just, you know, if you do that, but certainly, I, don't, I mean, West wasn't slow at all. I don't think there was any a time where, yeah, yeah. where we got, I mean, I know we played a little bit deeper at times, but I don't think there was a time where we I didn't we mean it as a no, 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 all. It's, it's all good. Just, you know, people maybe would make that prejudgment, yeah. but obviously you proved them wrong. But what I was going to say was, well, one, did it click, yeah. like I said, but also, has that partnership continued off the field yeah. as well? And to this day as well he's still in touch yeah yeah of course uh, what that sort of um, the win obviously connects you forever doesn't it yeah. really like it's you know you don't speak to each other every day or every week but of course of, you know we're away soon aren't we so yes. get in yeah, yeah. shape get in shape lads get in shape <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a nice so, little trip to Dubai with yeah. a few of the final to go. winning team there isn't yeah. it so, so that's what Robert's on about by the way um so yeah, I speak to where I can. I'm sure if I need to speak to him, I pick up the phone. Um, but I do think it's important that if you have someone in that position that you work with it. You know, it's, I don't think there's a, a given sort of understanding in a position. No. I think we did. No, work. you have to work hard as a yeah. as, as a pass. Well, that's how we got by. I would yeah. say, isn't it really, Matt? I just listened to what you told. Yeah, me, so. well, I was well, the, yeah, I was yeah, the gob. but that might be the case, and that's that's working together, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's not and. I, I don't feel ashamed. I think we put in the hours on the training ground. Mm-hmm. Um, we worked at it, not just me and him. I think the guys in front of us, yeah, obviously yeah. the fullbacks. I think it is important. I don't think it's gets stressed in us. Certainly from the the, the sort of younger level coming through, the you know you have to work not on your own levels of, of skill or, and positioning. Know each what you do. Yes. You know, know it, each other's game yeah. inside out. Is basically he, in that position is he going to go short and if so where am I going to be mm-hmm. but if I'm just level with him yeah. we're we're knackered because the ball gets played and these little things experience that, yeah and that uh, you know you have to work I, I don't buy into just 
walking up on a Saturday at three o'clock and it being perfect. I don't think no, it, no, no. I don't think it works. And sure. we we have worked. Um, I'm sure Wes would say something similar. But it's, yeah, it's I think it's important. Um, and the that we get off off the field obviously helps. You know, if we don't, didn't like each other, it'd be a bit of an issue. But yeah, it's yeah I don't. You tend to. I don't know if it was the case with yourself, mm. but through your career, you tend to sort of gravitate towards fellow centre halves yep. or fellow midfielders, don't mm. you? Yeah. End up connecting together, really. So certainly that's been the case with me and Jerry, still all three, mates you know. all these years. <laughs> yeah. Steve Walsh yeah. as well. Uh, less so Frank Sinclair, but that's probably a good thing. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, you know, it's probably similar with yourself, isn't it? Because you spend time with those people on, on the training ground. It's important, you? isn't it? Like if you just walk up and try and do a job, it's not going to work. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's no. You have to work hard. Work for hard. Sure. If you if you can have a few beers outside of football and sort of get to know not just the player, the person, how they tick, it's an absolute bonus. Yeah, I think that, that's where we forge that bond. Yeah, having a few beers <laughs> in that oh, area. At what point did you realise he <laughs> yeah. was all right? Uh, it was maybe a holiday to Miami or not Miami, uh, St. Peter, Tampa. Tampa, that's nice. Yes. Tampa, <laughs> that forged us in stone, yeah. shall we say. Yeah. Midnight skinny dipping, <laughs> yeah. but we won't go there. <laughs> in Tampa. <laughs> At least the water's warm there, I guess. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Good job and all. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Robert, I'm sure everyone would be interested to know what you're actually up to now, yeah. uh, now that you've retired from yeah. football and um, 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 you know where you're working and, and what you're doing. Yeah, obviously, I've had a bit of time now since, since I called it a day, so did a bit of uni work. Got my brain working with what was left Brilliant. of it. Um, did a master's in sport and directorship and sort of doing the doing the loans manager job now. At, at loans at manager yeah. at Leicester, yeah. Yeah, so oh, it's a um, great way to get into into football games. Yeah. I, you never I, found to the coaching route. Uh, at the moment, I don't know. I, no. I think it's as a player, you just rock up, don't you, at ten o'clock, and yeah. the yeah. coaches. <laughs> And then they put yeah. on the best session. You go, oh, that was absolute yeah. rubbish. Kicking cones, and yeah. that was uh, yeah. and, and kicking the balls away. When yeah, you, when you need the balls, studying. and they're oh, kicking yeah. them away. Yeah, yeah. Leave them balls alone. So I just think it was. Um, I think it's hard work. Really, yeah. really hard work to be a coach and a manager. It's, it's worse than not worse. It's more intense than a twenty-four-seven. Yeah, pretty much in it. Yeah, and at this moment of time, I, I enjoy my sort of not doing that because. These guys put in the work, you know, Brendan is there early, yeah, yeah. prepares the week, prepares the month, uh, the game, you know, it's it's ever evolving, you know, it's it's, it's all day, every day. Mm. Um, you can't have that sort of uh, switch off. Um, so it's not for me at the moment. Um, like, like I said. I can see your point. I can yeah. see your point in that. Yeah. So Chris, your little number low, loans manager. Um, well, I want to do it right. So yeah. it's not something I take sort of, uh, just a, you know, I want to do well in it like I've done in football. Um, and I want to bring something to the table. It's yeah, not absolutely. just a case of um, being here and sort of, you know, a, a box ticker or anything like that. I think it's important um, in the development of the club for, from, from an academy, academy point mm -hmm. of view um, to get players through or out or in and sort of create a pathway for them. If it's not for us in terms of playing for the first team, we still have a responsibility to get the players um, a, a life after after Leicester, whether it yeah. being in the Championship, whether yeah. it being another, hopefully. Does it involve travelling, like going to watch the games? Where you know, if they were playing abroad, even yeah, you, you, you have to go and keep tabs on things, or yeah. you just wait for reports back. It's it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's um, yeah. obviously I joined late, so I didn't get to um, wasn't involved with the players that are out on loan at the moment. So it's just a case of getting to know the boy, catching up, catching yeah. up with the lads out, out on loan. Um, how, how many is there out in Lund, Robert? Six. At the Six. Six. Yeah, so oh, it's, okay. um, it's um, a few of the lads I still know that when I was here, they sort of came through, which is which is great because it's good to see them develop. You know, they're all six foot five and yeah. like <laughs> absolute giants. <shots. laughs> <laughs> yeah, You've yeah. been doing the last four years, um, and but more importantly for me now, it's to see what's what's happening next um, transfer window because we've got some good talents coming through, and um, you know, it's always difficult to to guess talent and where they're going to fit in and how mm -hmm. we, but it's important that we have a nice uh, idea strategy in the future and then how we bet the talent in or well, do say we, part of your role is also bringing loans in possibly or the possibility of it maybe it? not at the moment no no I think that's something it's more about the younger players 
yeah for, yeah. for, for mm. me personally for us as an academy it's so it's important you know like making the right decision yeah. like do they stay with us for another year yeah or do they look white for a year do they go out do they train with the first team play with mm. like all these sort of little yeah. things and i think having someone like myself in a position where having that experience you know i've come along here for the first six months mm -hmm. um and people thought that's a bad idea because they bought me the league yeah but, you know it, it wasn't um so i'm here to help uh these kids and, and sort of teenagers to to yeah to either come th through with us in the first team give it the best po possible chance it couldn't you know couldn't be any better than than being at less than this is the ideal place isn't it yeah ideal and place. if you look back at the at the sort of our recent future we, we have given players chances yeah, exactly. in, in the first team so but it's not still playing at a level you know you know yeah barnes and just be whole have you have you ever considered playing uh i don't know what the actual term is for the role yeah you know when you get the overage player yeah. who's a, like a coach within the 23s oh god yeah i mean if, <laughs> Glutton for punishment, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can just imagine all the young guns like trying to not make you. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. Like, I mean, see ya. Yeah, I mean, you can't say them down neither the, after the day. The one, <laughs> the one thing we've, you know, they are just that much quicker and faster and more agile. So yeah. I can only imagine me training there for once and <laughs> someone's exactly. out injured because you exactly. just done, even slower than before. So, um, yeah, no, exciting times for us. That's for sure. Yeah, no, good luck with that. Thank Brilliant. you. Yeah. Sure Brilliant. you do well. Okay, listen, just before we finish, right. Robert, we'd like to play a little game with yeah. you. Oh, here we if, go. If, if that's yeah. okay. And it's called Desert Island Foxes. So every guest that we have on, we ask him the same question. And the question is, which three ex-players yeah. would you take with you on a desert island and why? I know who I wouldn't take. It's Fuxi because you'd just be... Chatting my ear off. For, <laughs> 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 oh, um, I'll probably go Kante yeah. hunting. I guess he'd be uh, he'd be relentless, relentless, me. efficient, fast. Um, doesn't say too much either, which he's is tracking, great. Yeah, tracking yeah. the, the yeah. food down. <laughs> yeah, so I guess he'd be uh, he'd be top of my list in terms of that. Get, getting the food in for me. Yeah. Is it including myself or no? You're me on plus it, three? so you're there. You're stranded, and you've got three people, and you need these three people basically to survive, or be, or be entertained. Or need entertainment, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who'd get you off to sleep at know. night? Who makes a good cup of tea? Who'd Who give you a nice massage if you're feeling a bit, you know, achy because you've been out, you know, trying to build, collect wood? I'd say Mark O'Brien, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's Mark O'Brien. Nice yeah, yeah, you, yeah you can absolutely spend That's a, a bit of time. Show. Yeah, no. You know, do the dishes so. and stuff. Yeah, you just be nice. It's not <laughs> offensive. Put it as a time apart, put yeah. time together. <laughs> not sure what we'll bring to the table in terms of surviving. Not Jamie Vardy, mm. you wouldn't take him? Uh, Is he a bit too lively? Well, no, because we wouldn't have Red Bull. So <laughs> okay. it'd be, uh, <laughs> yeah, it'd be, it'd right. be a, lot, a lot calmer, I guess. <laughs> um, oof. Oh. Not easy. Not easy question. Not easy, no. Oh, Brighton's a good one. Isn't he? Yeah, you can you can imagine him sort of keeping everything neat and tidy. Yeah, not, not yeah. Simo. Not Simo. <laughs> Simo. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing get ever done. It'd be <laughs> late. It'd be. Oh, yeah. um, well, there's no there's no pressure on time, is there? Uh, uh, in his element. More daylight, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> um, I, I reckon Okazaki would help Kante with the hunting. To be fair. Okazaki. Non-stop yeah. battery, Ginger? isn't he? Yeah. Them two yeah. buzzing around. He seems a nice lad, Shinji. Maybe Leo. He Leo does a good Jura, barbecue, yeah. yeah. The Argentinian barbecue. Argentinian yeah. barbecue. There South you go. American cuisine. See if we can hunt down Perfect. some Argentinian red wine as well while we're there. Yeah. Oh, Bit of Malbec. Right. Yeah, there you go. Hey. Beautiful. There you go. We, well, that's Argentinian think, Malbec. Actually, when you mentioned him, go to Kante. Yeah. I was just picturing that night, for instance, yeah. around Jamie Vardy, yeah. celebrating. What was Kante doing? Because I can't... <laughs> How wild does he go or not? <laughs> well, you've probably heard a lot of stories, but he's just very quiet. Yeah, you just, know, it's, it's, it's not, he it doesn't choose to be or doesn't hold himself back. He's just, it's just the way he is. He's just him. Yeah. You know, he's just a great sort doesn't of. Doesn't get too animated. It, I think he's, that base level is that and maybe it fluctuates a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> he's just the calmest and most. Fair play to him. <laughs> yeah. Fair, you know, um, yeah. He, he, um, he was there, but it was. He wasn't sort of taking a yeah. shot, but a yeah. shot of and sort of raving it around. Right. Find him in the kitchen at parties. 
<laughs> and Robert, just to finish, we've got three Leicester phrases for you to try right. and work out whether you have heard these while you've lived and spent time in the city. Okay. First one, do you know what a croggy is? A croggy, C-R-O-G-G-Y. Make something up if not. A croggy. What does it dog. sound like to you? Uh, anything, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Could be anything. Okay. That's I guess fine. it's not, nothing rude. No, no. no. Um, Croggy. It's pretty tame, really. It's nothing too wild. Is it food? No. 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 I don't know where you're going with that. Like a croque monsieur yeah. or something. Yeah. French no. cuisine. But um, croggy is riding on the handlebars. It's handlebars, isn't it? No, the back or wheel. the back. Standing on the back wheel. On the back wheel. Or on the, the, on the, the back. The, the bar. The back. Yeah, the bar that sticks out the back. Yeah. You're standing on the back wheel of back your it. friend who's yeah. giving you a lift <laughs> on his push bike. Right. That's it. So you're getting a, you're Told getting you it wasn't a, very well. I wouldn't have got that now. No. And you don't really Croggy. care either, do you? Well, I do like my bike, so I might yeah. set to my there you kids. Go. You can use yeah. it. Let's go on a Croggy. Okay. Mardi. Mardi. M A R D Y. Miserable. Yes. Yes. Yeah, very a good. Grumpy. If you're having a Mardi. Oh, you too, Mardi. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. Mardi, very miserable good. old <laughs> sods. Okay. And the last one. Again, not wildly exciting. Jitty. Excited. It's not a room. No. Oh, yeah. No, when you get the jitters. Oh, right. You get the jitters yes. is when you get a little bit edgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's it, what's it? A, a jitty. jitty. Do you know what a jitty is? There you go. It would be in and around the vicinity of the outside of a house. Gone. No you know, idea. You know, like a, it, well, basically, again, it's not very exciting. Yeah. Like a side lane down the side of the house. Oh, That's it. An alleyway. <laughs> That's an just alleyway. the same. An alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> you come up with some stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't th That's I not a thing, is it? Yeah. That's not a... Is it? A jitty. A jitty. I don't know if it's net actually restricted to Leicester terminology, but certainly Leicester people use it. Right. There you go. I think that's it. Yep. Uh, yeah, been Robert, pleasure, so well, thanks for having me. Thank you very yeah. much for joining us this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure for myself. Yeah, it's and very much so. Yeah, good yeah. to meet and you. And good uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, triple XL yeah. shirts for us, is it? Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we don't, if we don't get going quick, if we don't get moving quickly, then yeah, definitely. You're going to struggle out in Dubai, son, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, uh, it's down here though. It's all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Need a bit of that. Cheers, Rob. Anyway, yep. good luck with everything. Thanks for having me. Thank, Thank you. you mate.